Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I have a special unboxing for you. This is the Droid 4. Uh, so I'm not incredibly familiar with this device. This is the first time I've actually got to play with it. I picked it up at the store last evening, and uh, so this will be the very first time I had some hands-on with it. I have heard that it's supposed to have been out, you know, they announced it several months ago, and it's finally here. Uh, so let's go ahead and unbox it. This is the device. There it is, and if we go into the box, we've got, looks like a charging cable, and a wall charger, and some various reading materials, so nothing too big there in the box. Uh, so what we're here for though is the device itself. Uh, my favorite part of this Droid 4 is the slide out keyboard. This thing is outstanding. I mean, just look at, it lights up, you can see it at nighttime, it has actual real tactile response and also one thing that's great about this physical keyboard I've always been one to use the on-screen keyboard I've never really been a physical keyboard type of guy uh, but I really love the way that they've done it here and I really really like uh, the the fact that it doesn't take up any screen real estate like with a a keyboard that's software you know on the phone it actually takes up a block of the screen but this one doesn't do that and uh, we've got a full numbers row here full QWERTY keyboard and it's actually spaced out pretty well I mean I I feel like I could really do some serious typing on this keyboard uh, so that's probably the main reason you would purchase a Droid 4 instead of like a Droid Razor or a Bionic uh, is because of that uh, the, because of that keyboard. So another thing here, if you look at the phone itself, it, it looks just like a Droid Razor. I mean, it, it looks almost identical to a Droid Razor. The only thing that is uh, different about this and the Razor is this one has an excellent keyboard. So other than that, we've got a 1080p high definition camera with a flash. Uh, looks like we've got a microphone, an audio jack, and a power button there. We've got some volume rockers here, another microphone on the bottom. Looks like we have an HDMI out and a USB uh, out as well. Now with this HDMI out, this should be able to dock up to uh, you know, a laptop dock or a web top dock, that kind of thing. You know what Motorola has been doing for the past year and a half or so. Um, so if we go ahead and turn it on, uh, you'll see the lock screen here is a little different from what I'm used to with the Bionic. Of course, you slide to unlock. You've got a really neat, uh, really neat live wallpaper there. This to me looks and feels a lot like the Bionic, except it's just a lot snappier. Uh, seems to really move a whole lot quicker than the Bionic uh, that I had. If you open up the apps drawer, things just seem to run a little smoother. Uh, the pentile screen, yes I did say pentile, it still has a pentile screen and it is not full HD, it's not a 720 display uh, as far as I know and it's 4 inches. So for a lot of you guys that are used to a 4.3 inch display or like with me on my Galaxy Nexus, I'm used to a 4.6 inch display. Um, you can't really tell when it's not turned on. but really there's a there's a pretty big difference in that display I've got a couple of bars extra over here on this Galaxy Nexus uh, but this should be plenty especially when you consider the fact that you know the keyboard never takes up any real estate on the screen that should be plenty of screen there uh, here I'll show you the difference in screen size you see that the Galaxy Nexus really does have a bigger screen uh, when you put them side by side but really four inches is probably all you really need um, one of the main features of this phone is that it is on the 4G LTE network so it's going to be incredible fast it is running a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor so it's going to be really fast one gigabyte of RAM 16 gigabytes of internal memory and this looks to be a solid phone the look and feel of this phone uh, it looks like an expensive made phone it doesn't feel cheap it it feels solid in my hands I don't feel like I'm, it's just gonna slip out of my hand and drop you know like maybe the droid razor and it also has some bulk to it so if I did want to type with one finger uh, I think I'd be able to do it easier on this phone on my Galaxy Nexus that I have it seems like without putting the extended battery in there it's too thin to really do good typing with uh, but on this phone it's nice and nice and thick I mean that keyboard really adds a whole lot of thickness you feel like you're really holding a phone uh, when you hold this device 
Uh, but guys, that's my quick unboxing and overview. Check out DrawerModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks. And also, we're going to start doing uh, news updates on the front page there as well. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E9 out of 3. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And uh, also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys, for watching.